before Joe became pro, I was, I was, I was champion in 95. He just started his career. By, you know, I, I'm actually running out of things to say to y'all. What's up, Chris? Wife? Mrs. Bird? What I'm gonna, you know, we've been through this sea face except for the England guys. But I mean, what can I, I can't sell you anything. I think my, my uh, you know, it would be easy if I just had my resume and I just hand it out for y'all and y'all say, okay, it's going to be a good fight Saturday. Then we can go to the season room and get ready to rest up for the day and afternoon. But this is business. And part of the business is that y'all want to hear from us. And so, if you're twisting and pulling, you're going to get something. And I, you know, the only thing I can say is, man, is that just remember the remarks and we'll come Sunday morning, you know, after the fight, it's going to be a big decision where to put me at in, in, in your history mind or history books. I respect everybody's opinion about pound for pound, but it's bigger than that with Bernard Hopkins personally. And I'm fortunate, I, I'm fortunate to be one of the only probably fighters of, of modern day time, of this time, that can say that I think the writers and the experts and and I expect their opinion, but it's like the, this debating about who's pound for pound, which I have great respect for, people's opinion, because everybody got a different pound for poundness. But you have to put a special or a, a, a unique category for Bernard Hopkins. This is my third assassin of a South Pole in less than a year and a half. Joe is number three. And three, I might be out. But on my terms. See, I'd rather fight softballs than orthodox fighters because of my style and my unorthodox abilities that I'm gifted with. So, I mean, I think we can just go to the questions, man, because I, I just want to get done with Saturday. I am patient. I have the process in place. I train all the time, so I can't tell you I'm in the best shape of this fight compared to the last fight. I'm always ready. Even my worst critics have to bow down to that. They have to bow down. And they'll tell you they have to bow down to that. So I, I, I can tell you, you will see Bernard Hopkins and that old saying, the new. 32, the new, the, the 43 is the new 32, or the new 43 is the new, you know, whatever, Jay-Z or whoever brought it up. The, the, the times have changed where 43 today is not the 43 in the 70s and the 60s. Especially for me, I am true to the game. I love the game of boxing. I take this very seriously. I don't have days off to the point where I let my body go. I don't drink beer. I don't drink alcohol. I don't do anything to my temple, which is my body. That's why I'm here. Now, I can say I'm just that damn good and, get, and, and be done with it, but I'm not a fool. It took a process of discipline that I got from it that will not come Saturday night. So I have more to fight for than any fighter that lays up a pair of gloves, young or old. My man, and for those who somehow can't understand why I do the things I do and say the things I say, you'll never understand. You'll never understand because you're not cut from that cloth. And it's a dangerous cloth. But you have to be able to survive danger like I have all my They say, how do you feel being an underdog? I was born in 1965, January 15th in America. I was born at all. If you know the era of that year. What do you mean, underdog? That's what I like. Don't you know that helps me? That's not a negative to me. That's, that, that, that's, that's a positive to me. I'd rather be that. Because that's my world. That's our function. Everything I got. In and out of the ring, I had to fight for it. Even if my own humanity. So when that comes to those rounds, or comes to that moment, when I am challenged, and he want to keep coming, be careful what you ask for. The old cliche. Like Kerry said over 20 minutes ago, 
I was minding my business. In my rocking chair that I got from talking. <laughs> and I'm a fight fan. And so I'm watching the fights. And what did he say? I want to fight Bernard Hopkins. Now I retired on top. So I put my teeth in. <laughs> yeah, I got a free. I got a free. I'm not going to lie. I rocked back in the rocking chair, took a pop of the jerk off. The time difference from East Coast and West Coast, you know, is three hours. So I said, damn, I said, it's one o'clock in the morning. I don't know. So I should call Richard Chaffer. Well, I called him anyway. I said, man, uh, you know, this guy calling me out. You know, we've been, we've been, we've been down this road before. Whether he's in fault, I'm in fault, it's all one on the bridge. The best, better time to fight is now. You should think about it. And Joe is not a spring chicken. He's 36 years old. In boxing numbers, if 43 is old, then 36 got to be knocking on the senior citizen door. I'm already in the senior citizen door. I'm already in there, minding my business. He's knocking on the door, I, I assume. You know, numbers and age mean anything in boxing, because I hear it every day. They try to give me that subliminal message that 43 is old, but keep telling me, I, I want to hear this. So, make the fight happen, Richard. I've seen Kerry Davis at fights that Golden Boy was promoting. Make the fight happen, make the fight happen. Offer, offer them 60-40. I think that's fair. Nobody in this room would have said it would have been unfair. Oh, they marked that. I said, okay. I'm not going to let him squeeze out of this. He wrote his book. The man is really planning on getting out of here. man writes a book, do movies. You know what that means. No movies, man. Yeah. So I said, well, I'm glad he ain't a movie because I'll be in the next one. The next movie coming. So I, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be part in that one probably. But, but the thing is this. Let it happen. Now we're here. And I'll be able to show the world how I will be missed. As much as it hurts some of them, y'all would have missed this particular effort in man. In man. Because it takes a man to stand by his convictions in the ring and out of the ring, whether you agree or disagree. I don't believe in my time on this earth that you will see an athlete like the Muhammad Ali, like the, like the Jim Browns, like the Bill Russell, who will walk that line of controversy and debate it to the end and stick by his convention, convictions. That's why I take in the ring when I go in and fight. So again, you know, I hope everybody show up to see a fantastic fight. If not, make sure your cable bill is paid so you can watch HBO.